she will play it. Because she's a crazy gamer. Gamer, gamer. Hopefully this song is shorter for you guys. Because she thinks the last one was too long. But she still is a crazy cat lady. You gamer. Hopefully this is the last one because like before, I don't like singing these songs. Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use for educational and entertainment purposes. Hi everybody, Martha here. So I finished watching Dark Crystal, The Age of Re Science. Uh, re yeah, I'm not just read the name up here. I'm not very good at pronouncing stuff, but anyway, I'm kind of watching it. There was ten episodes. <laughs> I'm holding my phone because I'm going to read you guys the actors on here before I start the review. Tara Ed Edon, who played Rare Raron. Mark Campbell, who played um, the Chamberlain. Mm -hmm. um, Era Taylor Joe, who played Bria. Um, Nera, Nera, um, Emma, played Neat, and Hannah. Bar Hannah K Catter, who uh, went, you know, as, um, Bellatrix Lestrange, played, um, the old Maudra, and Annie Sandbrick played the Hector, and the last one that's appeared, the one of the main ones, is Nira. Uh, Nina um, Dolor. Okay, if I said email's name wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a sick of pronouncing stuff. So, what do I think of the show? Well, if you know what, you know, the movie, which I did review, honestly, a couple, um, um, probably about a month ago before this came out, when we saw the first trailer. Um, I, you know what's going to happen in this movie, in this show. You or you get an idea that this show is not gonna end well or um, have good have a lot have have a lot of death in it. Yes, you will know that. So yeah, we know. And a lot of and they do have a lot of the same actor, a lot of the same characters in there, but um, not none of the none of the um, the Goslin, the the um the okay the Grim whatever they're called um. The God, um, they, those, um, Jen and the girl are both not in this movie because they're not born yet. Um, so yeah, and, but old, most of the sketches that you see, um, except for there's, um, a couple more sketches because some of them, because the ones that, uh, um, are in the movie, there's only like nine. In this one, I would say there's at least about, um, 13, at least 13 sketches. Yeah. Yeah, so, and the sketches are those vulture words, so, yeah. Um, so... Before we continue this review, I was gonna get this. This is gonna be a score. This show, I mean, this TV show score, and I give it um, nine out of ten. So I do think that the parent. I do think that um, Jim Carrey's kids. Um, Jim Carrey. Jim Henson's kids. What is it, Jim Carrey? Jim Henson's kids um, have are just like their daddy. That that they were um, or, or their father. That they 
and this and the older mo in the movie that they, he did a there was a lot of scary in images and this one there is a lot of scary images like every single episode pretty much ended with a scary image like the last ep like the first episode ended with our first with our first um Gelfling I got it right that time Gelfling dying and which is um Ren's um girlfriend at the time um Mira and he gets he gets framed for it even though um because he's the only one that saw he's the one that saw her essence get drained by the um by the by the skeptics he's like I was surprised they just did it that early but yeah and then the second episode would end with um the scientist Zai getting blind so and um like and also like full episodes later on we see the um old Muldra getting killed violently and we see a whole, we see like a whole bunch of the um the um, the gelt things get possessed by some weird bugs and then we see um the eldest princess she turns on them and starts working for the um working for the um the the birds the skeptics um yeah and she starts dressing up like them and stuff like that and but she goes back she comes back to stop back to the side before she dies she dies too but she ends up having one of those bugs attached to her because it's been attached to her for so long is that they that they um blended together and came one where she can they could not take it off and the old mod um um that the girl that one with two horns i she um she died once but um somehow she got wrestled wrestled resurrected somehow so yeah i mean she was gone for a couple episodes because she was um in space for trusting skeptics because she even trusted him for a little bit too and she like then she but she got mad at herself for trusting them yeah and that that sucked and that was not good of her and she realized what she did was wrong after she um went and talked to the tree like um deke did both her and deke talked to the tree and learned the truth and talked to the um the old um, the elders um the ones that are the good side of the skeptics and and there's one called the archer which is not part of the nine that are alive his um the hunter of the skept is also called skeptics who's after ren when his um, when he um when he, when he escapes and even when his father and even when ren's dad is getting killed by um these weird buggy things like they think it's like quicksand with bugs that make that eat you up like worms most more like worms so like quicksands and you fall down and they eat you up and somehow the hunt the hunt the hunter got out of there and like the hunter like kept on like dying and open dying and up resting and dying and ah I mean, the, what rat finally killed him when the archer jumped off the, um, the the mountain, and that killed him. I mean, so did this have a? And so you would think that like you could at least four left in order for um, Jen and the girl to come back to life, uh, or for those to be born. But no, there's a lot more at the end, and this it's kind of a happy ending because. Kinda and kinda not, because um, they had a, a, an ending credit. Uh, but Mark Campbell does a good job. I, you cannot, I couldn't even tell which one was him. But I'm not really sure if he actually played him in um, knowing him. He probably did, because he, he probably did play him um, with Chamberlain back then too. But that guy, because he sound, he does the voice pretty similar to um, back then. You going? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Wait, um, so, before we go any further, um, hold on. I got a new subscriber, so he can make a request. I'll leave it in my duck, in my DuckTales episode, too, because I don't know if he would, if he subscribed for these movie for this stuff, too, but this one actually has a name. So, Mike Rowe. So, yep, if you have a request to me, you can do you can do it you hear me you, 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 you do a movie a tv show 
games are a lot harder to come by, so that one, and when I get enough subscribers, you guys can start paying for my games, so don't pick a game unless it's one I already have, or one I already played, so yeah. Or you can have one of these guys, you pick one of, those, some of, them, one of these guys to react to as long as they're related to this, so let me know in the, down in the comments below. So let's go back to where we were at. So they have like a battle at the end. Um, the um, the the Skeksis and uh, I said earlier. Ugh. Um. Um. I said it earlier. <laughs> The Dark Crystal. The Dark Crystal is a 1982 movie directed by Jim Henson, starring Jim Henson, Frank Oz, and Dave Gold. Get Gulflings, Gulflings. Their names are so hard to remember. Remember, get the Gulflings have a battle at the end, and um, really, um, the Gulflings win because there's more of them, and then the Skeksis. And the last thing, so, yeah, so you think it's a happy ending until, because the scientists didn't go with them because they thought the scientists shouldn't fight. So, they, um, and, well, um, the Chamberlain and, um, the general were left alone. The Chamberlain killed the general because the general took his seat for a while and came ruler, uh, came, came, came what he was came like the second given command for the the emperor and so he um took um killed the general so he could have his spot back where he's um like the second in command and so that and so the but the scientist stayed behind and he was making stuff while the um there were servants that the chamberlain brought over while he was looking for Ren. Because he's the one that sent the hunter out there to go and get him. And he, um, he, like, brought back these servants who attacked the, the scientists. And they, I think they both died. Um, but, but when they came back, um, they were all, like, all scared every single one, every single one of the Skeksis. And, like, wondering, there are just two, the, the, the Gulflings are too many. Hmm, we cannot win. But, Basically, the, a scientist made the, the big bug thing that um, goes after Jen and the girl in the movie at the very end. So, yeah. So, that's how it ends at the end credits. So, yeah. So, me unscrew my camera and ask Sully. Hey, Sully. Hi. What do you think of the show? It was scary. What? How is this for kids? I don't know. I'm not the one who made it. Jim Henson's kids are very weird. I know. But remember, they like to make, they like to do it. This ain't the 80s anymore. Not allowed to do that. Uh, yes, they are. They're allowed to make scary things for kids. Look at Coraline. I guess so. So, um, I give it over pause. So, like, fair, and subscribe, guys. And bye-bye. Remember, if you go subscribe, Martha will allow you to make a request to her 17, okay? Bye-bye.